It feels like an honor to be one of the first players to make a video about Chilth and this champion is just incredible, design wise, story wise, and even gameplay wise. So how did I get this character so early? Well, I placed fourth place in the Battle Realm Brawl and my reward for that was a maxed out Chilth and yeah, it was worth it, man. It was so worth winning that match against Legacy because if I didn't, I would have got her at just rank one level one, but now she is fully maxed out and I put in no resources into her, right? But now I did, I gave her a generic gem because she is an amazing champion. I have played with her for a bit now and yeah, I can confirm this character is very, very strong. So let's take her up to SIG 100 and her signature ability is pretty cool. It has a really unique ability that is very, very strong at times. But let's talk about Chilth, right? This champion has access to a lot of stuff. She is like utility packed into one. She has lots of bleed that can be paused and stacked a ton because whenever she interrupts a heavy attack or a special attack with her own heavy attack, she pauses her debuffs for about five seconds. Additionally, she has consistent cleanse, which works very well for her slow and methodical playstyle. So yeah, she is great for like hazard shift, biohazard, you name it, she is just good for it, right? She also has access to grit, which is the first ever champion to have this ability. It bypasses unstoppable, similar to Valkyrie's signature ability. She also has access to tranquilize, which is good paired with her cleanse, and she has regen and a very strong block. Now, when she is awakened, she regens from physical damage effects like rupture or physical burst damage, and she gains precision versus bleed immune champions. So overall, a very strong kit, a very utility packed character, but her damage output is also very, very strong as well. But now let's take her for a spin and let's showcase her damage output. Um, some quick notes here, I have the double edge mastery as well as deep wounds. Now deep wounds is a massive, massive factor for her, especially in the lower health pools where you do direct damage whenever you inflict a bleed because she is all about bleed. She has three bleeds on the heavy attack. She has a bleed on her medium attacks. She just has a ton of bleed everywhere. Now, for her playstyle, you want to interrupt the heavy attack or the special attack of the opponent to pause your bleeds, and once they pause, you stack up a ton of them, like a lot of bleeds. We have about 21 now. He's going to drop the special attack. No, he doesn't. He drops a heavy attack sooner or later, but as you can see, the bleeds are stacking a lot now. We are up to 21, now up to 24, so we dropped the SP3 for a vicious passive, and this gives us even more bleed damage. So once she gets going, the damage output is honestly just so, so good. And yeah, this fight is just about over, because look at all those bleeds, man. He really does not have a chance. And we drop another heavy, and look at that burst damage. It just wipes him out instantly, and that is a minute and seven seconds versus Winter Soldier, which is very, very solid. But now let's showcase that grit passive, that very, very unique passive that only she has right now. Valkyrie has something similar, but... The grit passive itself is only to Chilth. So the fight starts normally just doing heavy attacks or axe attacks, which is mediums and yeah, the heavy attack, right? And also interrupting the heavy attack, which is always a good thing. Her heavy attack range is massive. Like she lunges across the whole stadium or the whole stage to get <laughs> to the opponent. It's awesome, man. And that's a very good thing because she is a heavy attack reliant character. So yeah, she was designed very, very well. They made sure that there was pretty much nothing that is wrong with her. And yeah, she is a very good character because of that. She was just designed very cautiously, I feel like. And that was a pretty fast fight. That was like 40 something seconds. But now we have my favorite part about her and it's the cleanse passives. This is Biohazard, right? And Chiyoth just dominates Biohazard. The way she works, with her very slow and methodical playstyle, makes her so strong for nodes like this, where you have a chance to get a debuff on you, because her hit count is very minimal. She does one heavy attack, which is two hits, and that's all she does pretty much. So as long as you keep that playstyle going, 
you really won't get any debuff on her for the entire fight. So that's why she is so good for like biohazard and hazard shift, but also if you want to be even more safe, you can drop the SP2, which inflicts a 50% tranquilize debuff. And this mitigates the bleed even more. So yeah, she is just so good for biohazard and hazard shift or pretty much anything that has debuffs because the way she works with her very slow playstyle, she really has those cleanses up for the entire matchup. So yeah, this matchup is over. Um, Very, very clean fight. Very fast fight as well for Chilth. Just a really strong DPS and just utility powerhouse because she really just does everything. She has access to a lot of bleed, which is good for a skill character. She has cleanse as well. She has access to grit, which is really, really rare. She has access to a very strong block efficiency because her block efficiency it it's a bit weird it cannot take more than a certain amount of damage output from the opponent so it makes her really really tanky so yeah she is just very very safe and honestly man i love this champion so much i i like most characters that come out but this one it just feels so different because i am one of the first who ever play her and that's just something so special to me. And yeah, this champion, thankfully, she is very, very good, right? Imagine I went to Vancouver to get, like, just some trash character. No, thankfully, she is super, super strong. And now we have the final fight here, which is just this Rage node. And she is good for bypassing damage caps with her bleed. And honestly, her bleed is so, so strong. And I feel like she'll be great for long-form content. If the Necropolis works well for her, then I want to take her in and like use her as one of my main champions. I hope she's good for it. I really do, but I do not know. But if she is, hey, I'm ready, man. I have her at rank 5 already. And to be honest, I do want to ascend this champion as well because there's just a connection here, right? Because I worked hard for this character. I really put in a ton of effort for her and she was just so worth it in the end. So I really do love this champion easily one of my new favorites this year because of how I got her and like the story behind her as well. So yeah, Chilf, she's just great. She really is just really, really great. So here I drop a heavy attack and this fight is over because we have over 30 bleed stacked and he doesn't stand the chance. So yeah, Chilf is very strong. I think she is a very strong champion. I think she's making a pretty big impact on the game when she does drop for everyone. I hope that people do like this character because I feel like she's something special for sure with her story and her being a Kabam original character. I feel like there is a lot to love about this champion. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on Chilf and yes, yeah, about for me.